You want me to read this? Yes, please. February 4th, 2004. Subject, what you know. There are known knowns. There are known unknowns. There are unknown unknowns. But there are also unknown knowns. That is to say, things that you think you know that it turns out you did not. Rumsfeld is one of the, and I've done a lot of interviews over the years, one of the strangest interviews I've ever done. He is extremely charming, talkative. Um, I wouldn't say forthcoming. That's not a word that immediately uh, I would imagine applies. I must have gotten in the habit of dictating things that were important. Not a diary, not a journal. They're almost all working documents. Now, they become historical documents in retrospect, but at the time, they were, all had a purpose. In the later years of my using the dictaphone, why they were called snowflakes, because they were on white paper. What would you say the total number of memos might be? They said I dictated 20,000 just in the last six years at the Pentagon. There have to be millions. I don't look at Donald Rumsfeld's smile as insincere. I found it horrifying, but horrifying because it wasn't insincere. It was like a tell in a poker game, a smile of someone enormously pleased with himself. I found the most appalling part of this whole interview and the most appalling part of the movie that I made is that he's sincere. He actually believes this stuff. Um, he is a true believer. The United States government should envision a goal along these lines. New regimes in Afghanistan and another key state or two that supports terrorism. Syria out of Lebanon. Dismantlement or destruction of weapons of mass destruction capabilities If the war does not significantly change the world's political map, the U.S. will not achieve its aim. They're all looking, particularly if their policies, which are abhorrent, we're looking for the cloven hoof. Um, and what I got instead was just a person Machiavellian, uh, manipulative, but ultimately a salesman, salesman for the Bush policies, salesman for the war in Iraq and Afghanistan, but no real deep reflection about what he has done or about history. Uh, and I I think this is a powerful film for that reason. Uh, it's a powerful film about the absence of something that we would like to see but just is not there.